Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. What I have today is the new Sawyer Select foam filtration systems from Sawyer Products. Now, I am going to run this video as a first look type video. This is not a review because I've not been able to uh, do enough testing with these to be able to say, yeah, these are a really great option or no, these are not a good option. But I do want to just give you kind of an idea of what this product is because I'm super excited about it as a new type of water filtration that is available on the market. What you've got here is a silicone bottle, just a soft it's like squeeze bottle basically, that has a foam uh, element on the inside that has different uh, particles and things in it that allow it to do the different types of filtration that... Uh, it is designed to do. So they've got three different models of this Sawyer Select foam filter. This is the S1, they have the S2, and then I've also got the S3 to show you so that I can explain the differences between the S1, S2, and S3 uh, as we go through this. Now, what I want to emphasize is right off the bat, I know that some of the things that I'll share about the, the features and the specs and whatnot with this filtration system is not going to fit the mold for a lot of people. When I first opened the box and saw exactly what it was, I was not necessarily like super intrigued on the weight and kind of the size of it compared to uh, people that are uh, regularly carrying around a Sawyer Squeeze or a Sawyer Mini that is a very super... Uh, lightweight and compact package. But for this type of filtration system, what you get and the benefits to it, uh, I think it's worth the money uh, just from my initial impression. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Like I mentioned, you've got a silicone bottle, you've got uh, a foam uh, element on the inside that's gonna have different types of filtration capabilities depending on which model you get. This is the S1, so this is going to essentially allow you to take out bacteria, protozoa, taste and odor uh, enhancement, and then pesticides and uh, that kind of situation. And then here on the top, you've got a, a hollow fiber filter that is basically identical to your Sawyer uh, squeeze system or your Sawyer Mini. Mini. So hollow fiber here on the top, that's going to treat your bacteria protozoa type scenario and then down here in the foam you're going to have the pesticides chemicals uh, taste and odor filtration in here with the s3 this is going to be your top of the line most expensive it's about uh, 90 ish dollars only 400 uses on this one this is not going to be something that somebody here in the United States is going to really need because of mountain streams and basically the water sources that we have here in the US. But this is going to filter uh, heavy metals, viruses, chemicals, and the bacteria, protozoa, all of that. So the fact that it will do essentially all of the kinds of things that the MSR Guardian will do at a lower cost, but also a much lower um, capacity. This is a, a really cool option. It's also got the hollow fiber scenario up here at the top. I wanna focus mainly on the S1 and just my initial experience with it so far. I am noticing right off the bat with this that the capacity is going to be an issue. And if I'm trying to fill a lot of bottles over a quick uh, period of time, then this is gonna take me longer than if I've got a like 64 ounce bag, like this one here from Sawyer as well, for the Sawyer Squeeze, then it's just going to take a lot more. So this is about a 20 ounce bottle. It's also, as a complete package, heavier than the Sawyer Squeeze, so that might be a trade-off for people as well. One of the things that uh, I did notice about it it had kind of caught me off guard as I was just uh, at the water source using this is there's this piece here at the top. This is where you fill the bottle and this piece actually like fell out into the river and I barely caught it, which was a good thing, but that would have been uh, kind of a bummer situation. So this like screen does come out and then the, the foam is there on the inside. So what you'll do is you fill this with water. You've got a max fill line. 
and then you're gonna screw this on. And before I go any further, this is one thing that I'm concerned about over the long-term lifespan of this bottle is how well this uh, collar where the threads are to screw the filter, the hollow fiber filter on is going to last. So just a, an initial impression, but Sawyer does make quality products and uh, hopefully they stand behind their products if that kind of situation happens where it does fail. Guys, let me make a quick correction on this because I talked about the like overall lifespan of this collar lasting and as I've been playing with it more, I realized that the black piece should probably stay on there and then you unscrew the uh, micro filter from that. The only thing that I could see is it might make it a little bit more difficult to uh, fill the bottle, but that's probably the way to go so that you don't have that inside piece, that screen uh, falling out, and then you've got a little bit more manageable uh, filter this way to be able to just screw it onto those threads there. But basically you're gonna fill it with water, which I've already done, and then you're gonna squeeze this back and forth which essentially is going to agitate the water through the foam and create that filtration uh, through the, the elements and stuff that are inside of the filter. Then all you're gonna do is you could drink straight from it. And the water tastes great with that taste and odor, probably a carbon uh, type of filtration uh, on the inside there. But the I basically have just started like twisting it to be able to squeeze it through. Flow rate's really kind of impressive with it, which I am psyched about. Um, knowing that this micro uh, squeeze filter is going to have a little bit um, less volume than the Sawyer Squeeze, I wonder how uh, it's gonna get plugged up. What I would like to do when I do a full review is I'm gonna pour a bunch of dirt into water and try to uh, filter some pretty nasty water with this. But you can see that the flow rate is actually really decent with it. This is the one thing, uh, just again, another impression of my first couple uses, is it takes a second for, after you squeeze it, to get um, its like shape back. So if you, it has to like suck water back into it. What you can do is squeeze this, or screw this off and then screw it back on and then you've got uh, the air and stuff back in to be able to then squeeze it again. So I think it's a pretty cool system, honestly, and I think it's going to work for a lot of people. I can also see a lot of drawbacks to this system as far as how much weight and space. Something that uh, stands out right offhand as, as I've been using it is now that the foam is in here and it's saturated with water, I'm gonna be carrying a lot more weight in my filter than I would be with a bag and stuff. So even if I squeeze this all the way out, which that was a, another like couple ounces of water, but once I do that, that foam still has a bunch of uh, water in it. So it's pretty dense and it's pretty heavy. I don't know exactly what the, the exact weight is, but it's a lot heavier than an empty bag and a saturated Sawyer Squeeze. I don't know what my long-term impressions are gonna be on this system, but with 1,600 uses out of the S1, 800 out of the S2, and then 400 out of the S3, the S1 is going to be a good filter for a lot of people. And I think over uh, the lifespan of what it's designed for, it's going to be a great system for a lot of people and uh, be what a lot of people are looking for that isn't a pump, but it has that different type of filtration uh, qualities and capacity that uh, Sawyer is able to put out uh, on their products. So there you go, guys. That's just a quick overview and look at the Sawyer Select uh, foam filtration systems. Thank you so much for uh, watching today. Please subscribe to the channel down on that red button at the bottom. And I hope you guys have an awesome day.